Kaylin Lowry, 26, has been at odds with Teen Mom 2 star Janelle Evans, 27, for years, but their feud escalated going into 2019. During an Instagram live session on January 19, Janelle's mom Barbara joked that they should get lit and kill Kale, according to People, and Kaylin exclusively told us on January 20 that she refused to film more episodes until something is done. But Kaylin received no apologies from the pair, which she revealed to us when we spoke again nearly a month later, not that she wanted an apology in the first place. I don't think it would be sincere. I don't think it would come from a sincere place. I think it would just come because they were made to, Kaylin told us. With that said, the reality television star noted that she doesn't have a relationship with Danelle at all and isn't even on speaking terms with her castmate. Kaylin would actually like to distance herself from Janelle even more. While she doesn't anticipate Janelle getting booted from the show, she said, hopefully, Janelle cleans her act up and we don't have to worry about being associated with her. Despite their icy relationship and affinity for social media callouts, Kaylin tried to break the silence after Janelle's 911 call surfaced in October 2018. In the call, you can hear Janelle allege that her husband, David Eason, assaulted her and pinned her to the ground, which she later denied and blamed on a drunken misunderstanding. Despite the drama that Janelle and I have, I had actually reached out to her, I tweeted it, I reached out to our executive producer. Larry Musnick, to see if everything was fine, Kaylin revealed to us. But she claimed she heard crickets. I didn't get a response from anybody. So I just leave them and their situation alone because it's none of my business. And yet, regardless of their ongoing feud, Kaylin hopes that Janelle and her three kids Jace, 9 Kaiser, 4, Ensley, 2, are safe. While on the subject of Janelle's husband, she reflected on the homophobic tweets that got him fired from Teen Mom Og in February 2018. Obviously, it's unfortunate. Part of me feels like maybe that's how he was raised and so we can't really blame him necessarily, she said. But part of me is like, it's 2019, educate yourself, accept people for who they are. That's a message Kaylin also tried to get across in November 2018. After a fan asked Janelle in an Instagram Q&A, why is Kale always on your case, she replied, maybe she's confused about her sexuality. Kaylin thought it was a hypocritical answer, tweeting shortly afterwards, how does one claim he or she is not homophobic, but proceed to insult my sexuality in the same sentence? Asking for myself, dot the tensions haven't changed since.